Hey, Aaron Rabinowitz here. If you've been playing with Dynamics in Cinema 4D, you've almost assuredly been using the Bullet Dynamics, where you can use a rigid body or a soft body that will deform, or a collider body that will interact with other dynamic objects but not be affected by them. But there's actually a fourth one, and it's called the Ghost Body. Now, before we jump into Ghost Body, let's just take a quick look at a standard interaction here. So I've got things set up with this Voronoi Fracture. I'm using a rigid body and it's set to only have dynamics on collision, right? If this were not set to on collision, and I have it set to immediately and I hit play, it's just gonna fall, right? But if I set it to on collision, then when something interacts with it, that's when the collision is gonna cause the reaction. So let me hit play here, and I'm just gonna grab hold of my little cube there. And what's important to note here is it's not just that like interacting with this cube is causing the dynamics to happen. This collision body cube is actually pushing the objects around. So I push really hard, you can see it, it's affected by the motion and the force of this cube. Now, ghost bodies work differently. Instead of interacting with the object, they just cause the dynamics to happen. So if I were to select this cube here, now you could just go to the tags here and choose bullet tag and change it from the uh, collider body to a ghost body by just clicking on that. But you've also got something right here, if we select a tag, where you can set it from off, which is a collider body, um, on would be a rigid body, and ghost, which turns it into a ghost body. So now let's see what happens if I hit play and I move this cube around. All right, so I'm gonna move this down. Actually, I wanna bring this over to this side so we can really see it. And what I wanna have happen is, I'm just gonna to touch there, like this, come through. And you can see it's not like sending things all over the place, right? It's kind of like, we're not even seeing some motion. You can see just a little bit of the dynamics happening there. Let me move it over to the side here. Get it aligned, there we go. So basically, it's not pushing anything, right? It's not like no matter how fast I go through, it's not making them go flying, it's just triggering their dynamics. Let's look at another example. Here I've got a cube that I'm going to be using as a ghost body, a plane that I'm using as a collider, so the floor will that will catch all these objects as they fall, and a bunch of platonics or buckyballs that are being used as rigid bodies. And I'm going to make this cube uh, invisible. I'm not going to remove it from the project. I'm just going to alt-click on these little circles twice, and that activates both of them at the same time, so they're both been made invisible. And now when I play, what we'll see is that if I move this cube around, it's, it's hitting all of these different objects. And more than that, as the spheres or these buckyballs hit other objects, they trigger their dynamics as well. So you can see that some of the other objects here are falling onto other objects and causing them to interact and have their dynamics triggered. Okay, in one final example, not only do I have the ghost body, which is this sphere, moving through these objects and turning on their dynamics, I've also got dynamic forces like rotation and turbulence that are just waiting to take hold of these objects that have been activated, these little pieces of this uh, text, which has got a Voronoi fracture. So as this, this ghost sphere moves through, and it's got a volume attached to it so it can create a cool effect, you can see that the pieces begin to break up just from where they were touched. Anyway, as always, I hope that this helps you in your work. Once again, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz. I'll see you soon.